Sure, yeah, I mean, so the process, uh, I mean, I get a unique view into uh, your master class of photography and shooting. And so, uh, you know, the, the big thing is, is, you know, we have a client where we're, we're moving a ton. We're um, shooting equipment, other things. And so, you know, going, going across landmark bridges. Um, and so, so getting those shots and seeing you guys do that in a normal car through a sunroof, um, or hanging out, the, or hanging out to, to get the shot um, is both impressive, but then also I just don't feel like people have an understanding of, of what that takes, what that looks like. And then also, I mean, even just a magnetic GoPro, right? I mean, we've got oh. shots. So, I mean, just even discussing, like, what's the thought process? So we're gonna be in a moving vehicle. We know we're gonna get only so many takes to be able to um, shoot a vehicle that's also moving um, with the public going at the same time. So yeah, let's flash up the picture that kind of instigated this whole conversation uh, to begin with. So hopefully you're seeing that right now. Yep. Um, and in this photo, like it kind of captivates what um, we do as an agency, what we're willing to do for that matter. Um, and in this case, um, I don't know if we're gonna show multiples. So we may be going over the Bay Bridge and we may be going over the Golden Gate Bridge. And let's start off. I'm just gonna actually let Justin take it from here because you are actually, um, the you're one the capturing, seat. yeah, you're, you're in the front seat. Like you get priority. If there's like camera A, camera B, I'm always camera B for sure. Um, because you're grabbing, especially with the camera that you have and the perspective that you have being somebody that appreciates films as much as you do. Like you just have that, that, that eye for the composition. Well, funny enough, my process when I'm filming is sounds super pretentious but I'm so in the zone like I'm you look at the photos of me and usually my face is super close to the screen mm -hmm. and that's because my camera doesn't have a viewfinder so I want to be as fully immersed in what the audience is going to be seeing um, and in doing so you kind of come up with the movements uh, kind of on the spot yeah. uh, one time when we were going over the Bay Bridge, I usually try to not have any of the car in the frame at all. I want the audience to not feel the presence of, I don't want them to be consciously thinking, oh, they're shooting this while inside a car. So I try to, you know, I'll hang out the window mm -hmm. or I'll try and frame it in a way where you can't see. But there was actually a time where I did record the, uh, one of the uh, mirrors in the car and you could see the uh, cash truck driving. And I did that intentionally because I got this flashback and you have to add this in the video, but there's a shot in Tenet where they're filming a mirror oh, yeah. and there's a car going in reverse. So in my mind, I was thinking that. So sometimes when you're uh, kind of in the moment doing things, you'll kind of come up stuff uh, kind of on the spot. And I, I can get started at times because in my mind, I'm just so in the moment that I don't stop to think, oh, maybe I'm in match shot no, or you, maybe I'm, you don't I'm need in to the think way. About that anyway. Once you're in the zone, you're in the zone. I'm right? in the zone, yeah, I kind of just let it take over. I don't do anything I think special. We, I think we start to recognize though afterward who our influences are and, and what we're getting and what it looks like. So we always reference when we're in the Bay Area, we're, we're usually referencing Christopher Nolan, right? Like yeah. yep. the shots that we've gotten, even the, the edits that we make and the music that we choose yeah. is, is surrounding kind of that theme. Like it just lends itself to it being in the big city. Cause we always uh, do two trips across the bridge because one, we have to in order to get back get to back. The, our location. But um, in doing so, we have to go through San Francisco, which has plenty of um, skyscrapers and, and large buildings. And so getting those shots, it feels very Batman-esque, kind of think of uh, the Dark Knight. Just those kind of like urban city environment sort of shots. Yeah, like epic wide, wide view and all that. And, so, and especially the sequence in the Dark Knight where I think they had to shoot it with miniatures, but where they're trying to, there's the SWAT car and then there's the semi car. It's kind of like that yeah. because you're shooting these big uh, semis. Yeah. So it's, that's, I think that's why we unconsciously relate it to the Dark Knight in many ways. Well, and I would say, at least as an observer, 
the fact, I would say that the most important thing is, because you kind of alluded to it, hey, I'm in my zone, oh shoot, you know, I might be in Matt's shot, but the reality is, is that each of us know what we're going for. Yep. And so even when I was driving, um, it was, okay, where's the angle as we drive by so that yeah. everyone's got their shot framed, blocking traffic at times so right. that cars wouldn't be in Justin's shot moving forward. And I think that that, you know, we all, like, we're now to a point where everyone moves, you know, yeah. both independent of each other, but then also knowing, hey, oh, this is this would be killer if we got, you know, if this you, way. If you were an outside observer, I think that you would think it was choreographed much more than it actually is. So yeah. that's that's one of the like almost key like tenets of or pillars of like the Dome Creative Agency is that we don't we don't overly think through what we're about to shoot. Crane is like, I don't know, ten minutes away. We got to get in the truck and go. Matt, are you prepared? Uh, in which way? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. It's not like we only got one all opportunity. In. Do I have an option? You know, there may be a music video that we're doing where, yeah, we'll think through it a little bit more, but we don't storyboard. We don't have, um, you know, a deck that's that's made up or anything like that that shows all the shots we're hoping to get. We'll quickly discuss something, make sure we're using the right lenses for the yeah. job, making sure everybody's positioned right, for instance, in the car and then we just go for it. And yeah, I mean, I, I think that, that like from a final, I think that then you also, at least how we're getting shots, you yeah. know, as we kind of do this, you know, there's nothing like a magnetic GoPro. There exactly. really isn't. And you'll see them <laughs> and we try and even point them out. Like it's yeah. that third camera that you just the car can becomes get. A camera. The car becomes a camera. Point, yeah. Um, and you can get great sweeping shots. I mean, I, I'm, it makes me think of, we had a video and maybe we'll, we'll show a bit of the curtain van flapping, flapping, flapping. And that was, I'm pretty sure that was just the GoPro. And it was yeah. the GoPro shot as we drove by. Yeah. Um, and and if, if Red, if you want to send us a Komodo 6K to replace that, yeah, just that's send right. it if, as yeah, if you were hey, watching That's a thing, now. that's a thing, we could <laughs> mount that. Yeah. We would mount that as well. And then, you know, for any of you who are doing this, then capture the behind the scenes. That's the reason why we can even have these conversations is because, yeah. you know, we've got time lapse, we've got, you know, right. side by sides that we can do. Hey, this is what it looked like. This is what the guys were doing. And this is the shot. And I think that yeah. those will be cool. So we'll, we'll put those out too. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, All right. The process. Peace out.